Hey everyone, Zero Jada here with the XBLA Fans channel. I'm here to give a quick taste of Smelter, a action platformer a lot like Mega Man with a little bit of RTS thrown in, which is all this overworld stuff which you kind of use to unlock levels and stuff. I actually recently uh, used two towers to unlock this level over here while pushing my forces in. Uh, all that stuff's on the top. You get your like normal currency on the upper left. You're like uh, area, area specific currencies, which I've unlocked, just unlocked this area here. Uh, you got coins, which are actually used, uh, picking up in trials in each level, which are right here. You can see that I have um, two of the three apples, two of the three uh, um, coins, and then uh, three, two of, uh, two of two of like these little mineral deposits. And then, of course, I got my troops and all that kind of stuff at the upper right. But uh, we're actually going to go to this level here, which I haven't started yet, and it should unlock this other area and maybe give me a new uh, sort of set of armor. Uh, but yeah, this is... this. RTS stuff is fine. It feels like it might get a little repetitive after a while. I do like that you can easily replay levels. And there's actually this thing over here, the um, trial uh, uh, Tower of Trials. Uh, if you discover, discover a trial, which, like I said before, unlocks the uh, coins, and you fail it, you don't have to go back to that level to do it. As long as you've activated it, you just go in here and be like, hey, I want to do these, which is a great thing. Uh, my biggest complaint about this game is that A is back and B is confirmed. So I'm holding B to go in here. Uh, the story is essentially uh, Adam and Eve are in the Garden of Eden. Yes, the Adam and Eve. Adam eats the uh, forbidden fruit. A thing comes down from space, slamming into the ground, sending Eve underground. You meet up with this uh, sort of headdress, smelter, and uh, off you go to essentially reclaim his kingdom. Here I am. Yep, yep, whatever. So this is me here. Uh, so this is the basic armor that you kind of start out with. Uh, I've got this rock armor. I'm not probably not going to see too much of it. We might dodge out of here real quick and see another level. Mm-hmm. But this game, the way this game kind of works is that you're like cycling through, I'm going to say, three armors. I have two of them. I'm betting I'm going to get the third one here. Uh, the first one is the rock one. The second one is a sort of electric one that gives me a really good long jump. And you can cycle through these armors, which is great. I can dash. I can uh, grab. If an enemy is in a certain state, I can grab him to get more health. So the rock has a uh, kick. Uh, the electric has a lightning whip. And I'm wondering what this one might be. This one's going to probably be... Ooh, here we go. Perfect. We might get this, play around with it, and then go to a level that I've already beaten just so we can see me, like, mess around. All right, so what do we got? All right, so I have to hit B to check the skill tree. Oh, so this is... Just, now I'm just Mega Man. I'm a, I am... I am literally Mega Man. I'm 90% sure as well. I can't charge it. I bet you one of the skills is to charge it. Hold on, let's find out. I can't see them quite yet. But yeah, it looks like there's three. Here are the other elements that I've unlocked. It's like the whip. I got the swipe and all these other fun stuff. I got a, a double jump here. Uh, this one has essentially what, look, uh, if I'm recalling right, a shine spark where you just dash and then like, uh, like throw yourself. Well, now it's just a shooter. We're going to go a little bit and then I'll go back and show you the... Uh, uh, well, forget you then. I don't care. Once I get enough of these little uh, orbs in the upper left, uh, that bar fills. And if at Y, it does a super attack. So far, I haven't really encountered a boss, per se. Nope. I didn't even see that thing on the right. Checkpointing is okay. Sometimes it feels like it pushed back a little, a little far. But nothing terrible. There we go. Gonna get these little currencies. I imagine later on in that RTS section, I'll be able to upgrade my um, what's it called? My uh, my my things, nice uh, my buildings and stuff like that to higher points. I'm just worried that maybe it'll just get a little bit repetitive. Because even the the early part on that I'm doing, I'm like, well, I just want to get past this so I can do these pretty, like, fun uh, Mega Man-like sections. I mean, like, I 
think it's the whip armor that he even she, she even jumps like Mega Man does. And it's nice these levels where you get the have got where I have gotten these new uh, abilities. Uh, I've even been able to like they give you they even give you like three uh, abilities all like the the or at least the basic abilities. Got it. So if I had the um, jump ability or the ability to switch to armors, it won't let. Yeah, I'd be able to. I'd be able to get that. Okay, cool. I'm just gonna get in the corner and just. I'm really good. That also looks like water. So I'm almost the avatar. That's how I judge games. How like if your game has elements in it, how close am I to being the avatar? We'll go a little bit further and then we'll leave. Ooh, let's see what the next ability is and then we'll leave. Majestic wing, ooh. So now I can fly. They are giving me lots of movement abilities. I really into it. I like how the lion's like, Rawr. That's an interesting position for the wings. Uh, but we're going to go back to the rumbly lands. And then there's these ruins. Uh, I'm not 100% what sure they do yet. I do know that they unlock a specific uh, elemental attacks. I keep hitting A, by the way, uh, in the overworld sort of map thing. I am playing on an Xbox One X, and the load times are actually pretty good. Well, we're already going into here. Let's actually go to... So this is the this is my sort of extended area up here. So the way those coins work are these sort of shrines and or these forge, and you uh, use the um, local currency to get them. And then there's these little... Uh, healing item uh these uh buff statues so it looks like i'm heading north this way what's this altar gonna do oh okay that's just a teleport so let's actually head into the first area and i can kind of show you like the switching before between stuff But I've enjoyed this game so far. Like the biggest issue I've had is like the RTS stuff as a go between the pretty fun levels and the uh, weirdness with um, the B button. But anyways, as you can see, I can switch back and forth. This is my lightning whip. This is my little spinny attack. And then I can switch over here. Got my double jump. Smack people around. Music's good too. I can also grab these falling things. Yeah. I didn't want that. I want to do. So that won't do anything unless they are in a sort of green pain state. Uh, the cha the trial rooms are actually pretty good. One of them is don't take damage. One of them is don't get spotted. Uh, one of them is actually uh, doing uh, very platformy falling, where you're actually going uh, what's it called? Uh, down through a sort of crystal cavern. This is a very this is like literally the first level you're in, so that's why it's tutorializing everything for me. I, I'm pretty sure it's Shine Spark from Metroid. Yes, there is a secret in the upper uh, left. So if I hit Y, he comes out and goes, which does a nice chunk of damage. So in this armor, I hold A and I can jump high. Like I said before, they are just literally just layering on the uh, movement abilities, which I love. Oops. Also, if you notice when I double jump, I actually get a, they, it actually like makes a platform under me. So like right, right here, this would be perfect for the uh, shooty arm, but I can actually hit hold B and take less damage. And if I time it right, I actually will uh, uh, deflect uh, attacks or ranged attacks.
There it is. Nope, I died. I didn't time it right. But yeah, that's that's Smelter. I'm enjoying it. Uh, it's just the weirdness with it. Like you saw me do it multiple times during this video, where I just messed up the button prompts because it's like A should be confirm and B should be back, not the other way around. That's really weird. That's how games have been doing it forever. But anyways, I am Zero JD. This is the XBLA Fans Channel. Thank you. Bye, everyone.